Rich Freeman from Kyoto News. Jamie, uh, firstly, physically, how are you? And then, perhaps more importantly, mentally, how are you after that game and performance? I'm off physically. Physically, I'm OK, 75%. Um, but I think mentally, for me, it's exactly what we, we thought we were going to get from Chile. It's um, first time at the World Cup, very proud country. You can tell from the anthems, you can tell from the fans that we're always going to get a spirited and hearty performance. Um, but they actually exceeded that by a long way and put us under a lot of pressure. Having said that, uh, you know, even though we are prepared for that, uh, we had to get into the match and we had to battle for every, everything that we, we, uh, that we got, really, in terms of the match. Uh, really proud of our guys. And in the end, it was 42-12, scored 40 points. It's a, it's a big victory for us. Um, but we know that we are in a, we've been in a test match. I have two questions. First of all, when you prepared for the match, I know it was difficult, and I think it's very important to, to earn points uh, and score uh, as much as you did. But uh, how do you assess the, the performance today, uh, both of you? Well, from my perspective, you know, it's pressure. It's that's what we we're getting used to at the at the highest level of our game, which is the the Rugby World Cup. Um, yep, we got put under pressure just like all the teams have so far in the World Cup. Um, but then to be able to absorb absorb that and come through the other end, you know, with a with a positive result, it's a really good uh, really good start for us as a team. At the beginning, um, we saw some hesitation from your side. Um, so, what do you think you, you will have to work on? Uh, do you think you've learned lessons today uh, during this game? Um, in the way you've played, so what can you, what lessons do you, do you learn from that? So yes, uh, Chile was a very good team, uh, very physical. Um, so we've learned, of course, a lot. Uh, the pressure was on us uh, at some point, but we did not panic. We were able to really uh, um, conserve the ball, uh, and uh, this allowed us to, 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 to win. I didn't know that we would win by such a margin. We just wanted to focus on the results. And it is true. Um, compared to Chile, well, regarding Chile, sorry, they had a very physical game, so we've learned lessons from that. I'm Saito, again. You did not really try to get penalties you, you, you based your game on tries so what was your the keyword what was the strategy we had not really decided on that we just wanted to play our game on the field and um, we played with our own feeling of the game and we wanted to occupy the 22 uh, meters zone the, as much as possible to put pressure on them it was not always the case of course we did not always score but i i, I would say that all in all we were able to uh, retain the ball and maintain pressure on the opposing team and that was our goal Here, Taniguchi uh, from Nikkei, a question for uh, Mr. Nagare. Um, Imeno could not attend today, could not play, sorry. It was a last minute decision, so you had to um, become captain at the last minute. So how, what was it for you? How did it feel for you? I just told the, the players to to play as they would with Imeno, uh, and I tried to, to act as he would have. Uh, I I know that it was important to to be calm, uh, confident, 
and to be on the offensive, and I think that everybody understood it. And during the game, even when there were some breaks, I just explained that we had to keep going in the same direction and to keep working together. They all trusted me, and honestly, it was very positive uh, to me, and we really focused on the right aspects of the game. I have a question for Mr. Nagare. Before starting the game, did you feel some pressure, uh, some tension amongst the players? I couldn't say that we were not uh, under pressure. I was under pressure. That was the first game. It's always the case. There's always pressure. Um, but you have to accept it. You don't, you don't ha want to avoid it. So how will you be dealing with the next game? Uh, Mr. So, so, so for the coach, what, what will you do about this? I know that pressure is always important. And um, but what you saw today is probably something that you weren't expecting. You guys weren't expecting that Chile would come out and perform like that, but we were, and we were prepared for that, which is why we won that test match, and then in the end won it reasonably comfortably. But I don't think you guys were prepared for such a performance from the underdog Chile because it's their first World Cup. And what I've learned over all the World Cups is that the very first test matches in the World Cup is when you get the spirit and the emotion and all the motivation from the teams, particularly the Tier 2 sides. So. I think with that in mind, it's, um, it's been a good learning for us, just dealing with that. Next week's a different, isn't it, because we're playing a Tier 1 team, we're playing one of the best nations of rugby. Uh, we saw them, you know, dismantle Argentina, which is another Tier 1 team, um, physically, intelligently, and they play their kind of rugby. Uh, we don't play that We don't play that way, we, don't, we can't win if we play that way against England. So we'll have an enjoyable week this week because you guys won't be expecting that we can do anything, so that's probably a good thing for us. So a question for, to the coach. Um, earlier we said that uh, Mr. Imeno could not uh, play today, so how did you choose uh, the uh, new captain? You've been leading this team for a few years and uh, training this team for a few years. Yeah, I think first and foremost, so understand that we, what did you we do to make this team grow? Squad. So when Himeno turned up a little bit tight uh, two days ago around his calf, it was a really easy decision um, for me not to, to risk such a crucial and important player for us, given it's our first test match. Um, we gave him another 24 hours and he still wasn't feeling comfortable. So, I mean, we've still got a couple of guys to come back with the same thing. We've got Lappies coming back in. Um, so those decisions for the coaches, what I'm here for, we've got to make the, those hard calls for the benefit of the team. Uh, he's feeling a lot better today. He probably could have played today. Um, we've, we've come through today's test match, and now we look forward to bringing him back into the group to, you know, add some real energy for us. And I think that's a real positive now. Question over here, please, on the right. <clears throat> スポーツ報知の和田です。ジェイミーさん自身の負傷の理由と状況を教えてください。戻って来られそうですか？ジェイミー。Could <笑> <Jamie, 笑> you tell us about you about your uh, fitness? How are you? How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, look, I um pulled my calf muscle yesterday, which is disappointing. It kept on trying right at the end. Now it's the first time I've ever done it. So um, it's my last time I'll ever do it. But um, again, we've got really good coaches that can sort of step in. Um, today's all about the players. You know, we've pre prepared really well. This week is, um, we've, got a, we've got a day off tomorrow and we have a light day and then we can just start building our week. That should be fine. Thank you. Hello, please. Jimmy, your your team have missed a lot of takers. Is it a pro is it a problem in your opinion? Are yeah, you right? 
Yep. We did miss a lot of tackles. Um, and we've got, to, we've got to make those tackles. So, yep, solution to that is some, th some tackle training. Get the pads out, get the guys out. Um, the guys work really hard. Um, we're not as big as the other teams. And, you know, we've got to be accurate with, with our techniques. Otherwise, this is what happens. And, you know, when we play a team like Chile and then next week like England, if we keep missing tackles, then we're going to come second. Fortunately, uh, today we, we made enough tackles and we attacked in a certain way to give us some good momentum. Um, and again, that's another form of pressure, you know, so good learning for us, got to get better. See hand raised over here. え、ジーズ氏の伊藤です。え、長瀬さんにお聞きしたいんですけれども、あの、先ほどあの、ま、PC狙える場面でもエリアを取ってっていうような形をおっしゃってましたけれども、この so you were really trying to to play to to, to gain feel to gain the uh, so will you try to, to to still play the same uh, way? Is that the strategy you will implement for the rest of the games, or do you want to work on other aspects of the game? Because uh, of course we've tried to gain as much ground as possible. But that's not something that we will always try to do. It will depend on the opponents, of course. Sometimes we will have to play differently. So, and of course we will listen to, 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 to the coach. He will be making the decisions according to the, the opponents. But the ones who will have to implement it to do it uh, will be us on, on the field. So we will keep training on that. So you think that um, the best strategy for you is to score as much tries as possible? No, that's not how we think. Honestly, what we just want to win. Uh, the way we win is not important. Okay, this will be the very last question. I think uh, we will go over here. A question for, for Jamie. We were talking about the leaders of the team. Imeno was not there and was not playing. So you have other people that have a leadership role to play. And I want to take the example of, of the young players that, are, that have just joined the team. How can they help? Uh, really lead the team? Well, I mean, you know, we don't really want the young players to try and lead the team. We want the young players to listen to the leaders and execute their job. We don't want too many leaders out there. We'll be going around in circles. Um, we've got some pretty experienced rugby players out there. We've got Schotter coming on. It's his fourth World Cup. We've got Lecce. It's his fourth World Cup. I'm not sure we need to worry too much about the young players. What the young players need to do is enjoy the World Cup. It's their first experience. Play well. Play for, play for their country, play, you know, play for the families they represent, and that's certainly how we prepare those guys. Thank you very much. We will conclude here. Thank you, Thank you to the coach and captain of Japan. No. No. See you next week. Okay.